Here we go! Hello, pygmy hippos. My name is Grizzgo, and today we are building a pygmy hippo habitat because pygmy hippos remind me of Goombas. If you didn't check out last episode, we are building a Mario themed zoo set in the Mushroom Kingdom, full of mushrooms, full of Mario themed everything. And now we have our Goombas. So with that, we will start doing our terrain. This zoo is kind of not intended to be realistic. Uh, a lot of YouTubers doing the realistic, eco-friendly, blah di da di de We are doing big cartoonish fun time over here. So that's why all of the plants will be probably really big leafed ones. I love these rhubarbs. They're really cool. They fill up a lot of space and they look very large and cartoonish. So that's why we're using those. Gives a good sense of scale for our little Goombas. And the pygmy hippos were actually what started this thought of creating a Mario Zoo because I saw them in the Zoopedia at, right after I'd seen the Mario movie. And I thought that would be quite a good idea. And it's nothing I haven't seen anyone do it before. So I thought I'd document it all for you guys. So like and subscribe because we got a lot more videos coming and it gets insane. Let me just say that. So now we're just kind of finishing up our beach area for the hippos. Painting in a lot of sand and soil because that's what they like. All right, now we're just gonna set around some extra enrichment for our guys. You guys know I love this log. I use it a lot to kind of establish riverbanks. It's perfect for that. I love it, love this log. So our pygmy hippos will have kind of that shallow end on that side and then you can see they have a deeper end with a viewing area where the guests can walk down and look at them. And now we're just gonna copy one of our shops that we built in the last episode and we're gonna make it one of their houses. So the little Goombas live in a little mushroom house and it's the cutest, most adorable thing I could ever think of. And we'll put a little bed for them and then we'll get a barrel to bring them out onto this little peninsula that we have and we'll color it red for Mario. We'll just scatter some scents around to bring them into areas that I want them to go to, and a mud pit. And now I'm just going to decorate this with some rocks to make it seem like a little uh, muddy rock pit. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series. It's very fun and I love doing it and I love you guys. So uh, keep up the good work. You're doing great today at whatever you're doing. And oh, I just love it when they take advantage of everything you just did when you unpause the game. Look at this guy. If that's not a Goomba, I don't know what is. He's just magnificent. The pygmy hippos really are Wonderful. And there's some poop on the ground. Should probably call the zookeeper to come and get that, but it's okay. He doesn't care. Not a care in the world for this guy. And I love the scenery with those mushrooms. It's just so colorful and nice. Oh, taking a dip. Now I might go back and I kind of want to change the layout of this. I think it's it kind of pushes him against the glass. Uh, this seems to be the route that they take every time they go down into the water. And I didn't realize when I built this that they don't actually swim, they kind of just walk along the bottom. So I might raise the bottom up as well. 
I didn't do it in this video because I just had that thought when I was uh, recording this. But still, I Pygmy Hippos, 10 out of 10. I love these guys. And now I'm gonna put a heat lamp, or so it seems to be a heat lamp. It's just a red light. It doesn't actually act as a heater, but I thought it'd look kind of cool to have a red glow at night. And then we'll give them a little front porch light, uh, because what house is complete without a front porch light? And now to just give the underwater part a little bit more clarity and visibility, we're going to add some lights along the window. And then we're going to start adding some rocks just to make that hill a little less uh, boring. And we're just going to check the traversable area and of course we want them to be able to come up on that top rock so I'm going to have to move everything in closer to the wall. And it also gives them more space at the bottom level to walk around on. Then we're going to add some seagrass. And now we're just going to take a look at some of the progress we've made. I made this little fruit stand uh, just to give it more of the marketplace vibe. Added some of these mushrooms and we're just going to add a few more around uh, just to make the place look a little more lively. We are on a very tight budget uh, because we built in franchise mode and uh, yeah. We, it took us a while to get our pygmy hippos because I didn't have enough conservation credits. So yeah, I had to go back to the Grizzoo and play that, sell some animals, run some breeding programs, get as much conservation credits as I could so that we could get our pygmy hippos in as fast as possible. And now we're just gonna add some pots around because we want this zoo to feel like a very busy Toad Town market uh, full of shops and all those shops are going to have back stock and uh, items for sale and stuff like that. So we're just trying to add to that busy vibe. And you can see down there I have a lot of like, the fruit boxes. And, uh, just really trying to add to the aesthetic of the busy town vibe that we're going for. Now we're gonna make our exhibit signs. Uh, so this is usually how I make them. I don't do anything too crazy. I just kind of take a couple posts uh, and color them a wood color. And then I like this Arctic block as the base for it because it seems very sturdy uh, and like it would be able to hold up the big screen. Now what I'm going to do, just to make sure that the height and the angle are correct, I'm going to hold it up to a guest uh, and just kind of rotate it around to see uh, what the best placement would be. And that looks pretty good, so we're going to do that. And then just duplicate that around a few times. And 
add our donation bin. I'm gonna recolor these to kind of brown and yellow, uh, just so they aren't as stark blue. We already have the blue barrels, which I could recolor, but for some reason I really like the blue barrels. Uh, I didn't like them as much when I colored them to be brown, so. Now we're just gonna decorate our entrance a little bit and adding all these mushrooms, kind of like the Mushroom Kingdom is expanding into the tunnel and just kind of like taking it over. There we have that completed. We might duplicate a few more down the down the way. And there we have that all set. I'm just gonna put a wood border around this sign. Uh, the sign actually isn't an educational board, so I don't think the guests get uh, education points from it, but it's kind of a placeholder for now, uh, using it to advertise for the hippo exhibit. And here we have our final walkthrough. So the guests come up through the warp pipe and are greeted by our Toad Town Village. Uh, hustling and bustling, as always. There is a gulpy stand right there, which we might actually go through and rebrand all of the shops to uh, Mario-themed stuff. So if you have any name suggestions, uh, that are Mario themed, shout them out in the comments because, yeah, we'll be doing that pretty soon probably. And here we have our pygmy hippo habitat. And while I was doing all of that, our pygmy hippos had a little baby. There he is. You can see I put a seagull on my favorite log. Um, just for a little more interest and because we don't have birds and I want birds. And there you can see a hippo just went in the mushroom house. It's also a very hot day today here at the Toad Town Zoo. Uh, we'll have to install some coolers and stuff like that just to keep our guests happy and cool on a hot summer's day. And there's our little pygmy hippo. See, everybody here is very hot. Now we'll go down through the underwater viewing area. Uh, there's nobody here right now, but that's what it looks like. And there is our pygmy hippo uh, again. The baby just seems to be following us. And I love this view. It's just so cool. I love it. Don't look over there. Don't look at that. Don't look at that in the background. That is a secret for an upcoming episode. And if you follow me on Twitch, you might know. Oh God, don't look at it. Why am I showing it so much? I should have not shown it. Don't look in the background. And I'm stuck on this bridge. Anyway. So now we're gonna go over to our exhibit animals that we didn't really take a tour of last episode, but we kind of did. Here is our terrapin. There they are swimming around. 
We have a pretty successful breeding program. I think a lot of our money is coming from these guys. Selling them. And then over here we have our American bullfrogs. There's one. Hanging out on a lily pad. And there's one over there. There's another one in the back. I didn't even notice that guy. Alright, now we're just going to speedily go all the way through to our staff area that I didn't show you. And here is the progress on that. Need to add a few more doors that I forgot to add onto. I'm not positive. I don't like it when the door opens and the door is still shut from the scenery. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but... It kind of looks weird to me. Let me know in the comments. And just like that, we will exit our Toad Town Zoo. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. And I will see you next time at the Toad Town Zoo and Aquarium.